four common holiday-related dilemmas and how to graciously handle them. Hi, this is Rosalinda Randall, etiquette expert. These are going to be multiple choice. Number one, you have dietary restrictions. You can A, eat before the party, B, inform the host and offer to bring a dish to share. And enough for everybody. A and B, you can do a combination of those. Number two, entering into political or religious conversations. A, approach it to learn about the origin, the practices, and the beliefs. B, voice my opinion on why my beliefs are better. Let's go with A, if you even have to enter it. Number three, drunk or high guests. A, assign a ghost host, a friend, to keep an eye on the drinking guest. B, cut them off early. It is your responsibility to keep them safe and your other guests safe and not ruin everybody's time. And number four, the lingering guests. I guess it can be flattering that they stay. But anyway, A, put away the food, drink, and dim the lights. Or B, be honest. Say something like, we had a great time, but we're exhausted. And here are some final thoughts for hosts. Overlook minor surprises. Things and spills will happen. The guests won't remember the incident, but they will remember how you handled it. And for guests, the gathering, the party, may not be the way you would do it, but it's about the people having fun, connecting, laughing together, and being happy that you were invited. Again, this is Rosalinda Randall. You can find more on rosalindarandall.com.